You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class. Oh, that's a nice picture. So yeah, let's uh, let's just jump right back into it, shall we? So I gotta kind of remember where we uh, left off. I'm just gonna go ahead. Is it still early in the morning? I'm still waking up. Anyway, guys, all right, let's do it. <clears throat> Alarm chain, you're up. Okay. I was hoping you'd deny that. He ruffled your hair as he walked past you. You have to try harder, Henry. I mean, you should go shower now. Fine, fine, Dad. What? Just kidding. You, you sound like my dad. Ah, uh, I, I see. And you need to wear your shirt before you make us dinner. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I forgot. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's no big deal, really. I should hop into the shower now. I've been meaning to take a warm shower since after school. All right. Don't take too long, though. If you don't want your food to get cold. Do you mean after class instead of after school? Gotcha. You headed to the bathroom while Lars headed to the kitchen to make dinner for the both of you. Uh, he's gonna do it again, isn't he? He's gonna be, be like, he's gonna be bang, bang, pounding pound that meat. It's nice that I don't have to cook dinner. I'm glad Lars is staying here with me. I'd have just ordered fast food if I were living alone, I'm pretty sure. Wait, did Lars get groceries by himself again? Nah, that couldn't be. It must be something from this morning. I, I can just ask if I want to know. I can worry about that later. I gotta wash my hair clean. You grabbed a bottle of shampoo made specifically for your fur. At least that's what the company claimed. He said my hair feels soft and nice. Hmph, <laughs> I'm not blushing at all. I never paid attention to it. It does feel nice, or maybe it's because I'm using the shampoo right now. Either way, it means the shampoo is doing a great job. I'm glad I picked that one. Can I do it again? I think that's enough of showering. Lars said don't take too long or my food will get cold. Once the water has stopped flowing, you get out of the shower, drying yourself with a towel. Hmm, may as well do the laundry before I get out. You walk toward the washing machine, and you notice Lars's dirty clothes are in the hamper. Ah, these are Lars' dirty clothes. I should put them into the washing machine. As you move, as you move to these clothes into the machine, something fell out of his pants. <gasps> That's his underwear, isn't it? It was there on the floor. You stood there, staring at it. There was a sudden... Oh my god! Is this the whole fucking coach thing again? Come on. You decided to pick it up, and you couldn't help but gently getting curious. I am not into sniffing people's underwear. What am I thinking? Jeez, Henry, get yourself together. You said that as you put it into the machine. You closed the lid and started pressing buttons to, the, to do the laundry. Let's pretend that didn't happen at all. I didn't think of sniffing his underwear. Not at all. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him when I was heading to my room. He was in the kitchen, I suppose. Regardless, I should get dressed and head to the kitchen as soon as possible. It's been a while, I feel. Oh, it smells great! Ah, you sure took your time in the shower, but it wasn't that long either. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just you you literally just said, "Hey, you took your time in the shower, but it wasn't that long." I'd say it was just right. The food is almost ready. Ah, yeah, I was doing the laundry too. Oh, well, I was gonna do it after you finished showering, but you did it before me, so thanks, Henry. And hope you didn't mind, but there was my underwear there. Oh, don't worry about that. All right. What do you usually have for dinner? I'm curious. Oh. Honestly, whatever is fine, as long as I have something to eat. My parents always cook a lot of stuff before for dinner back home. Since I live alone and I can't cook, I'm sure I'd just go outside to get something to eat or just order some fast food. I'm really glad that you're here so you can cook for me. Plus, I don't feel as lonely as, I don't feel as, lonely as before. <laughs> I see. I'm glad you're feeling that way. I'll cook for you as much as you want. Oh, wow, that's something people like me want to hear. But yeah, that's nice of you to cook for me, Lars. No, thank you for letting me stay here. I wouldn't know what to do if it weren't for you, to be honest. This is the least I could do. I appreciate it. Well, that aside, dinner is served. Oh, nice. There you go, Henry. Ah, oh, okay. I'm getting hungry just by looking at it. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Let's not keep you waiting, then. Dig in. Don't mind if I do. All right, what is it? <laughs> well, what, what was he making? <laughs> ah, that was so good. Glad you liked it. I'm going to do the dishes now. God. This imaginary fucking food. Hey, yay, 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 yay. That was a big yum. You don't have to do it right now. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'll just do it anyway. Best to do it before it piles up. Good point. Hmm. Still sitting in the chair, you talk talk with him some more. I noticed you cleaned the house too. You didn't have to do that, honestly. 
I didn't have to do anything, it's no, so it's no big deal. I live here, after all, so it's my obligation, too. At least temporarily. Well, if you need help, just tell me. You don't have to do it alone. I don't mind, really. I love cleaning, so it's enjoyable for me. Okay, you love if you love cleaning, you cook you love cleaning, you cook good food. There's nothing more I need than a guy. Please marry me. <laughs> you mean it? Well, I was joking, of course. Ah, I see. I don't do well with jokes. <laughs> I, 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 in any case, please tell me if you need help with cleaning. Uh, to quote you, I live here after all. Will do, Henry. Wait a minute. He said you mean it because he didn't know I was joking. What does that mean? Uh, oh, yeah, you didn't give me your phone number because you don't have one, am I right? Uh, I already told you yesterday. I mean, I know that. I just mean, how am I going to contact you when you're outside then? That, I don't know. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll figure something out. I'm done do- Jesus, that was quick! I'm done doing the dishes. Wanna head to the living room, or do you want to go back to your room? Oh, you head to the living room together. Let's talk to the living room. It's still early anyway. Ugh. Sounds good. Let's go. Both you and Lars headed to the living room. It's nice to be able to relax on a couch after eating dinner. Oh, what did you usually do after eating dinner? I just stayed in that small in that small tent most of the time. If not, I'd just sit on the rock and stare at the fire. It was fun for a while, until bugs started to crawl, crawl in and mosquitoes feasting on your blood. Ugh! Sounds distressing. It can be, but I wasn't really bothered by it. At least I think I wasn't. I see. <laughs> what about you? Me? Unless someone asked me to hang out, I'd just stay in my room and get all snuggled up. Ah, you want to stay in your room instead? Nah, I'm good for now. I never had a roommate, so this is really exciting for me. Oh, alright. And if you want to hang out in my room, I don't have any ob objections. In your room? Is it okay? Yeah, sure, I don't see why not. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, please, want to head to my room? If you're okay with it. Let's go then, I prefer staying in the room anyway. Alright, let me turn off the light first. Click. <laughs> Done. Let's go. Uh oh. They don't have a moment. You plopped into the bed as quick as possible while Lars sat on a chair in your room. This is exciting. It feels like I'm having a friend sleeping over. <laughs> I don't think it's that exciting, though. Well, this is the first for me. The, the first? Hmm. Hmm. It's the first time I'm sleeping with someone else other than my family. Oh, you never had sleepovers before? Nope, not at all. My friends didn't want to go to my place because my parents looked scary and unapproachable. And as you've guessed, my parents didn't let me stay at my friends' places either. That's not good. Is there any reason for that? Huh, I, I don't know. Uh, they always told me I'm too clumsy to save my own life. <laughs> By the time I reached high school, I was too lazy to sleep at someone's place. I see. Well, it's not really sleepover if I'm going to stay here for the rest of the week, or probably longer. I don't mind at all. I wonder if Bublik says it's a job opening. I'd like to work part-time so that I can help you pay the rent. But then again, I don't have any work experience in that field, so I'm not sure if they want to work with me there. They want me to work there. Hmm, I can ask around if you want. One of my friends works there, so I can ask him about job openings. Oh? I'll think about it then. Just tell me when you want me to ask. Yeah. Just letting you know, though, I don't mind if you don't help me pay rent. I I'm cool with you cleaning and cooking for me. <laughs> okay, I just want to help more, though. Hmm, mm-hmm, and I'm thankful for it. I'm sure it'll help a lot. And, oh, you know, if you want to sit on the bed instead of that chair, feel free. I see. I'll keep that in mind, Henry. Mm-hmm. You chatted with Lars about several things before you headed to bed. It was just a normal conversation between both of you. You learned that he can be a great person to talk with when he's relaxed. Once it's your bedtime, he said goodnight to you and headed to the living room to sleep on the couch. It didn't take too long for you to fall asleep. Such a cutie. Day six. Ooh. Ah, I love that transition screen. It's so cool. Hmm. Chicken. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. What kind of dream is he having? He's dreaming of chicken. Uh, I gave you an actual yawn there. Good morning, world. I have a friend that says that. Oh my god. Today's a great day because I don't have to go to school. Although, I should wake up and make my bed. You got up and started making your bed. While doing it, you noticed that your door was slightly open. Guys, I'm curious. What, what kind of a morning routine do you have? Like, how do you wake up? Like, how do you, like, get up and stay up? For me, personally, I pop my, pop my little headphone. I pop my little ear pods in. Well, not ear pods. I use, like, a, so, a pair of Sony 
earbuds. I pop my little earbuds in and I like listen to some gaming news to help me wake up and keep my mind focused. And then I just go in the kitchen and grab some coffee. You know, good little morning routine. You got up and started making your bed. While doing it, you noticed that your door was slightly open. Hmm? Maybe Lars went in to get his clothes. I wonder where he's right now. Still not getting used to him staying over. Once you're done with your bed, you head into the living room to look for Lars. Good morning. Ah, you're here. Morning. From the looks of it, he was about to leave the living room. You're heading somewhere? Just gotta make breakfast for us. What about you? Ah, okay. Call me if you need some help. I'm gonna get some fresh air. That was a lie. You were totally looking for him, and you didn't know what you wanted to do with him. Ah, I do that every morning, too. Don't take too long, though. Breakfast will be ready before you know it. Okay. Ah, before I go. Hmm? Which would you prefer, bacon and eggs or waffles? How about bacon and eggs on top of waffles? Because I'm a fucking heathen. Uh, I had waffles the other day. I had dark chocolate waffles. So I'm going to have bacon and eggs. Ah, I see. I'll prepare that then. Okay, looking forward to it. Looks like I'll go and get some fresh air like I said I would. Ah, this isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Maybe I'll head to the front gate and look around a little bit. I never thought about it, but this place looks so pretty. And the air feels great, too. I never got to enjoy it in the morning until now, thanks to the school. Since Lars told you not to take too long, you stayed near your house. It seemed like there were a lot of people walking around, too, from kids to elders. No wonder almost everyone here was looking healthy and fit. Surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, you saw a familiar face. But there was something weird. Mr. Parker's there, and but he doesn't look like he's doing his morning walk. Clearly, he was just passing by. He was probably heading to somewhere else. Called him. You're the type to stick your nose in other people's business, so you called to him. Hey, everyone's sticking their fucking nose in my business! You could have just walked toward him, but you didn't. You shouted. He noticed you right away, because nobody would shout like that. Probably. Good morning! Ah, good morning, Henry. I didn't see you there. <laughs> what are you up to? I'm just doing my morning walk. What about you? I'm going to school. Huh, but it's Saturday. Yeah, but us professors go to school on Saturdays sometimes. Ah, oh, that must suck. Sometimes. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you later, Henry. Ah, okay. Have a good day, Mr. Parker. You too. Before you finish this sentence, Lars came out to tell you that breakfast is ready. Hey, breakfast is... <gasps> huh? Parker, what are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. Oh, wait, day six? What is this? A night with the tiger. Well, and don't say that you're, and don't say that you're visiting him. There's no way you'd cook him breakfast if you did. Ugh. Parker glared at you for quite a bit before shifting back to Lars. What? It would make sense to you if you knew what happened, but that was not the case. Er, context? Anyone? Huh. I need to get going. You're still not off the hook, Lars. I'll come here later. Would you mind if I visited you later, Henry? No, not at all, but please tell me because I might not be at home. In that case, can I get your contact info? Yeah, sure. He exchanged phone numbers with Mr. Parker. Good thing Liz taught me how to do it. I'll see you later, Henry, and you too, Lars. Have a good day. He seemed upset. You okay, Lars? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's eat our breakfast. He seemed upset too. Huh, I wonder what happened. Lars had been quiet the whole time, and it's safe to say that the breakfast wasn't that enjoyable. What a shame. The bacon and eggs he made were great. Maybe his mood will lighten up if you told him that you enjoyed his food. Yeah. Hey, Lars, I like it. What? I mean, I, mean, I, I like the breakfast. It tastes good. Jeez, what's up with me? Oh, I'm glad you like it. I tried my best. I was worried that it wasn't good. You've been quiet for a while. Ah, I, I just didn't know what to say. Especially what happened earlier. You both look so upset. Huh, that thing. I knew it happened sooner or later. Although I wasn't expecting to happen that early. I thought I was prepared for it, but I was wrong. <laughs> Well, if you want, you can tell me what happened. I'm here for you. Oh, God, there's a hair in my eye. There's a hair in my eye. Get out. Okay. One second. Let me get that. Oh, okay. Thanks, Henry, but let's save it for another time. I'm done with my breakfast. Ah, I'll finish it. I'll finish mine ASAP. Ah, scarfing down my food like that wasn't a great feeling. You didn't have to, though. Well, anyway. Hmm? I'm going to take a shower now. But you've just finished eating. That's not good for you. Huh? Really? I didn't know that. Try waiting 30 to 45 minutes after any meal before showering. I didn't know that about showering. Is that true? 
And other than that, you're not supposed to really go into a pool after you eat, so, yeah, after, so soon after you eat, because you can get stomach cramps. Eh, but... No buts! Now go to the living room or somewhere else. I'll do the dishes. And maybe clean the house while I'm at it. Uh, okay. What now? I'm bored. Not sure what you could do to ease your boredom if you turn on the TV. I'm surprised it doesn't have, like, a gaming console or something. Huh. <sighs> bored. I want to go out and take a walk! This isn't how my weekend should be. I'm supposed to be having fun! This uneventful Saturday got you feeling bored out of your head. You said that, but the day was only starting. Not to mention something happened between Lars and Parker this morning. Hmm. Lars had been walking in and out between rooms. He was probably doing his work. At some point, he walked behind you to take out the trash. Once he was done, he went back to the kitchen. He sure keeps himself busy. I feel bad letting him do everything. Maybe you should ask if he needs help. Hey, Lars! What is it? Do you need help with the housekeeping? I'm good, thanks. I'm done anyway. Hmm, let me know if you need help next time. It's my house after all. Like I said, I stay here for free, so let me do the housekeeping for you. Alright, alright. Still, let me know, okay? I will. He walked closer toward you and sat down on the floor with a thud. I wonder if he's tired. Well, no shit, Sherlock. After cleaning a house this big, of course he is. After thinking about the most obvious thing, you looked at him, but not in an obvious way. You looked at him, but not in an obvious way? What? <laughs> you like looking at it from the side of your head? Because that looks... That's, that's, that's more of a suspicious way of looking at someone. His hair was quite messy at the moment, and he was sweating through his shirt. For others, that might be quite an unpleasant thing to see. But for you, it was quite a treat. Now, let's not mention about his shirt, because everyone agreed that those side nips were a blessing. <laughs> He's looking so manly and dreamy. Those side nips were a blessing is not a sentence I'd ever thought I'd hear or say, but here we are. This is the timeline we're in. Wait! 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 Is the light bouncing from his nipples onto his fur? Is that why it's pink? Oh my god, he's got nipple lights! He caught you staring at him and tilted his head slightly. Why are you looking at me like that? Because your nips are glowing. Got them glowing titties, boy. You blinked twice and shook your head as you tried to come up with something that would make you sound less creepy. Um, be honest. No, maybe not. Uh, I'm just admiring you. Don't mind me. Oh, it went up. <laughs> well, what does that mean? It means what it means. Please, you're talking nonsense right now. Well, in any case, you told me that you wanted to go out with me today, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did. Did I really say going out? That sounds like we're boyfriends or something. I wouldn't mind, but still, this is too fast. Yes, you did say that, and yes, if it was true, it'd be too fast. That's not good for the plot. <laughs> oh my god, it's blinding out here. I don't think so. Why do you ask? I was just wondering if you... Oh, okay. Uh, it's a flashback. I was just wondering if you want to go out with me tomorrow. I don't have a problem with that. Where do you want to go, though? <laughs> I said that. Yeah, I hope you didn't think poorly of it. You okay? Lars seemed to notice you zoning out, so he asked if you were okay. God, yeah, I'm okay, just thinking about things. What kind of things? N nothing, I'm gonna hit the shower. You rushed to the bathroom before you got a chance to ask any more. Oh god. After the shower was running, you leaned your head against the wall. What was I thinking? That was really dumb! You spent your shower time thinking about things that might or might not happen. Once you were done contemplating, you headed back to your room and got dressed. He takes a lot of random showers. It seemed like Lars had turned off the TV and headed outside. Curious, you exited through the main door and saw that he was stretching his body. He took a moment to appreciate his strong, well-defined back. What does he do, really? I couldn't tell that he was homeless from how he looks. Anyway, not really the time for that. You wanted to surprise him, but you remember that he was near that he near that he nearly clawed you the other day when you when you did. Bad idea. I'll just call him from a distance. Hey, Lars, I'm done showering. It's your turn now. Why are you standing away so far? Oh, just in case. Just in case. For what? I don't want to surprise you like I did the other day. Ah. Hmm. He raised one of his eyebrows. Okay. I'll take a shower. You decide where to go. Will do. He sat down on the couch and as instructed, he began to make plans for today while you waited for Lars. We're going to the city and I don't know anything about it. Hmm. And how am I supposed to make plans? Maybe I should ask Mark. Ask Mark. Yeah. Yeah, he seems like he knows what he's doing, so I'm going to do that. He said he'd be at the arcade until afternoon, too. He went back to your room and grabbed your phone. As you walked past the bathroom back to the living room, you could hear that Lars was humming a familiar tune. Alright, I'm gonna call him now. Beep! Can I go back? And... No, I can't go back. 
Oh my god, how do I go back? Someone tell me. Several beeps later, and he still hadn't answered yet. Oh, I want to see the other choice. Oh well. He's probably still asleep. Oh! Shit, okay. Oh, right clicking brings up the menu. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Hmm, I guess I'll do it impromptu style. You put your phone on the table and lie down on the couch for a little while. Maybe this will be a good opportunity to get to know him. He doesn't really tell me about himself. But then again, it's fair. We haven't known each other for long. Well, we're now roommates, so I have to go, so I have to get to know him better. Operation Getting to Know Lars, start. Operation Ending Episode, start. <laughs> oh, that was perfectly timed. I fucking love that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this new episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!